In this second example, we're going to look at the volume of a cone, and the cone is sitting right here. It's actually an oblique cone, but that's okay. We can uh, still do this with our formula, volume equals one-third, capital B times H. Capital B stands for the area of the base. This is a circle, so we're going to use pi r squared. The radius is going to be half of 30, so the radius is 15. So pi times 15 squared is what we're going to look at. 15 squared is 225, so it's one-third times 225 pi times the height. And it's the perpendicular height, and that's exactly what this is. That's perpendicular. I don't need to use the Pythagorean theorem like I did in the last example. 25 is my height. So now I'm pretty much there. I just have to calculate what that is. So I will do 225 times 25. I'll divide that by 3. I get 1,875. And don't forget to put pi because I wanted to leave it in terms of pi. The unit is feet, and since it's, since it's volume, it's cubic feet. So there's my solution. There's the volume of the cone.